What's going on, everybody? I would like to welcome you all back to another episode of the Kent State Dynasty. Now, for some reason, my microphone isn't registering once again. So I did an update on my computer, and ever since then, I've had recording issues. So I had to deinstall or uninstall the Elgato, then reinstall it. It was very annoying. Took a couple hours last night, and I stayed up till like 2 a.m. uploading videos. But anyways, we are on episode 79, okay? Because of that loss, we dropped all the way to number six in the nation. Now, that kind of sucks, but it's also a blessing because we're going to lose Kendrick Hinton. So we're, we're not going to get Kendrick Hinton at all. He is not going to come to this school. I am out of unlocks. And that sometimes is the is the curse of, uh, of going after the big guys, but whatever. So um, Jonathan Madsen, Doug Riley, Anthony Garcia, Alan Gibson. I found these two dudes. Nobody's picked them up. Terrence Chambers and Antonio Harris. So I'm going to scout both of those. If Antonio Harris either stays or improves, I got a feeling Antonio Harris could possibly be a bust just because he's, it says B throw power, B accuracy, but that's it. And Chambers, it says C and C, so he has possibility to improve. I don't know. But might as well throw on another five-star. We've got Nick Johnson to commit which is pretty cool. And, uh, oh, and Clifton Richardson and Lawrence Burgess. I'm kind of excited about those D linemen. Even some of these, um, safeties here, like the back end of our secondary, you know, uh, let's see what, given it three years with an average of plus four, so that's 12. So that's like 74 overall. That's, Almost in the 80s. Actually, that is an 80. And then 81 overall. So, they're not going to be bad juniors. But I don't think they'll be, like, standouts. Of any shape of the means. So, we also lost the Heisman. As well. And deservedly so. Orlando Bradford won it. He ran for 15, almost 1,600 yards. And 18 touchdowns. I ran for almost 1,400 yards and 19 touchdowns, so I get it, I get it. And Shane Bouchel, because of that last game, he just moved ahead of us. Shane Bouchel crushed us. All right, let's get into this bowl game. Let go. All right, so once again, I do want to apologize about the mic. I'll see if I can remedy the situation, but we're coming out. Defense held. We need to make a statement in this game. Boom. Justin Johnson, let's go, kid. Fall forward for 15. I've been really happy with Justin Johnson, one of our best recruits that we've had come to Kent State. We're going to change that into a run. We don't need to do anything stupid early. Oh, dang. That blocking on that left. Here comes that stupid Florida State chant that nobody really has affection for. Ah, that's so annoying. I mean, hey, I'll spend for five. Good job, Ray. I don't know. I mean, if we gain a couple yards, maybe. We may be able to do something about it. McCoy. Um, 62 yards. We almost made a 64 yarder, my dude. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it. Boom. He said I couldn't make it. Anything like he was last year. Look out this season. Kiss my grit. Sometimes my guys tackle very well. Sometimes they just don't tackle at all. 
But Quan Robinson. Oh. He's a rock star. He's a rock star. Quan Robinson. Dude, this guy has gotten like four picks in the past three games. It's stupid. Yeah, man, my team's awareness is uh, really special. I can say that. We are not completely aware. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. What was that? That's not where I put that ball. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback. Man, we are turning it over. That's Derwin James. First and ten. Ball on the forty. Shouldn't have gone for that. I gotta stop with those turnovers, man. They'll drop in There we go. Minus two. I can tell you my defense will step up. Third down. He's going left. I knew he would do something like that. I mean, I want to use her to linebackers, but I want to get a sack for a Boyd Bay at least. Fires it out. And he tackles. S'mores, Cunningham, Culver. I like that lineup. There we go. Good pop. No, you went after the wrong guy. Come on, Elliot. You got to push up. Patrick as like a like a quarterback. There we go. Who is that? Wantes. Dang I can't. Come on, throw the screen. Get him. Who got him? Alfred Morris. There you go, boy. Or Khalil Morris. I always want to say Alfred Morris, like the running back. <laughs> we'll call him Alfred, even though his name's Khalil. Good job, boy. He moves for a big guy pretty well. So their clutch skill was activated. I don't plan on giving them anything. There you go, Johnny Woods. He's almost got 50 yards on the day. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Kent State has a three-point lead. See what this run play does. It's a draw. Yeah, I didn't expect much. Helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. This is the 11th play of this drive. Five wide. Well, I know I got a blitz coming. There you go, McCoy. McCoy picks him up around seven yards with that catch. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. All right, so my man is playing off there. What can you do for me? What can Blue do for you? There we go, Johnny. Red zone threat. He's got quite a few touchdowns this year. Good job, Johnny. He gets to 40 touchdown passes with that last toss. Pretty good season by any measure. Oh, he's been unbelievable. This young player has had a career year, and he'll be remembered for a long, long time.
converts the extra point. It was a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receivers. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. So now the offense comes back. All right, Mr. Boyd Bay. Oh, see the glitch. I, I always get hit with it. I even played him. It was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own. I could have had that tackle. I should have had that tackle, man. And he's immediately tackled. A nice looking play that time. FSU is not going away, I tell you that. Let's see what can our boys do ah that was good at about the 35 what we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers they make these plays look effortless first and ten Let's see where's that running back left side we're gonna switch Nope, I was right on him. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Ooh, that was a run? Good job, Morris. When the defense is playing pass and drops off into coverage. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. See what a boy Bay can do. Oh, I wanted to get there so bad. Good job, Cunningham. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow he's able to throw the ball away. This is a long field goal. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up. And he missed it to the No good. We'll take it. I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's tough break. Both teams are well aware that a score on this You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play it smart. Has really got to step it up and make a stop. I'm going to burn the clock on this drive. He's taken down. Okay, two yards. Two yards there on the option keeper. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. It's second and eight. Ball on the 40 yard line. All right, Mr. You, who's playing off? There you go, Johnny. Haven't even hit 200 yards passing. Oh, well. It just depends on each game that you play. There you go, Justin Johnson for 14. 74 on the game. From the 42-yard line. First down. See, only missed two passes. And of course, one of the two I missed is an interception. Up the middle for a nice game. There we go. I'll take five all day. Yeah, we've got zone, so this screen looks a lot better. Got it on the quick 
Nice. I'll take 10 on the reception. Good job, Raekwon. From the 27 yard line, first down. Let's see what this DN does. Ah, made the mistake. Should have handed it off. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. All right, I I'll be honest. I don't like the play action. There we go. We'll take the first, Johnny. We'll take their second time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. I just want Florida State to burn all of their timeouts. There we go. Can you give me five? Thank you. Final timeout. James gains about five yards on the run. We're at play number nine of this current drive. All right. In the shotgun. I can tell you they're probably not expecting the jet sweep. I'm gonna bring over Justin. Oh, that's a big hit. But hey, we tell we'll take two. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Give me the first. It's the eleventh play of the drive. First and goal. Not gonna risk any thing dumb here. We're just gonna take the knee. Take the knee and get out with the V. Second down, goal to go. I tell you what, though, it's been an amazing season. And thank you to everybody that has watched. We're going to walk out of here with this dub, that Tostitos Fiesta Bowl victory. Closer than I wanted it to be, but hey, you know, we beat a top 10 team. Raekwon came through. George Bolas led the team. Hopefully we can persuade Malik Mitchell to stay. That would be fantastic to have him come back for his senior year. So there you go. Give it to Raekwon, the senior. So he had over 100 yards total. Give me the ball. Well, bam. Three straight seasons with a bowl victory. All right, let's get into these stats. So I believe, yeah, that's three straight seasons. We've won a bowl, one of which was a national title. That was last year. So a harder conference team did better took that loss to texas which was unfortunate but hey we come back and we prove to the world yeah we belong in at least the top five because you know of our schedule we won uh, against tough teams 22 24 234 touchdown and a pick sacked twice 91 percent completion rating 88 yards rushing three and a half per carry one touchdown Receiving 72 for the senior Johnny Woods and a touchdown. Way to end, man. 
Justin Johnson, 74 yards. So good for him. 25 yards for James. 27 for Antoine Dixon. McCoy, 15. Price, 21. So KVS Price will have back. Defensively, I say we did okay. We got one pick. That was by Quan Robinson. So um, he was very serviceable his senior year. One sack by Khalil Morris. I'm going to miss you too, bud, which is why we had to get some defensive tackles. Tackles for loss, Khalil, and then Wontez McCray. Solos were led by Wontez McCray and DeAndre Smart. So our corners leading. Not so sure that should be happening, but um, Jim Jones, we're going to be welcoming him back next year, so he should be significantly better. Uh, great linebacker. So we're going to end the season here. I believe that's the end of uh, season three or season four. I'll figure it out in the live stream. <laughs> so I'm going to live stream the end of the season and recruiting. And uh, thank you so much for staying faithful, guys. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try to get my mic fixed eventually. And I do hope you all have a fantastic day. See y'all later.